Hello, Mario. In this video, we're going to take a look at plotting. Just a straight plot from the plans that I've drawn so far and plotting first to PDF so that we can print out a draft for checking. And then once we have plotted out the draft for checking and checked it and made any amendments that result from that, then we'll print out our final plans. Not before we look at plotting with a style table. And that should bring us pretty much to a logical conclusion for the cost effective cribs project. Alrighty, so let's get our plans up and running. Easiest way to do that would be Z enter E for extents and there's our plan. So first of all um, there are many ways that you can plot out. You can select all of the tabs and plot a set of plans. Um, at this stage I'm just going to plot out each plan individually to PDF, a PDF copy of them and then uh, look at those copies. Um, we, we can look at plotting sheet sets and that at some point but just for now let's concentrate on getting out a copy of our plans and checking and then we can um, collate and pull them all together um, using PDF functionality or we, this can obviously be done with AutoCAD as well but um, alright so there's hopefully our finished plan I just would like um, I'm in paper space here just go in and make sure my logo I've had a lot of trouble with these so I'm just going to make sure it's sent to the back so it's just precautionary I've found that it's worth doing that so let me go here we go we just go plot that and I'm just going to plot to uh, Adobe and let's just do a preview see how things are going so that looks pretty good logo's got nice black lines around it um, table of contents is all looking good so um, yes it's all it's all how it should be so um, let's just right click and plot and then it says it just comes up with this so it's saving it to PDF so you just navigate to where you want it uh, CAD sessions uh, in there cost effective cribs um, so there's lots of plans there I'm going to um, perhaps just uh, create a new file folder new folder and I'll just do plots. I'll just call that plots. And I'm going to put this one in here. So this is the cost cost effective cribs floor plan. Um, and I'm going to call it just put in there draft. Draft. And let's save that. And it goes through that PDF one. It tells you that it's there. And then you can see your plan here. Um, control zero. And you can see there that it's um, it's plotted it out and at that uh, there. So it's, we, we can um, go here and just rotate it. Uh, rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees that should be good like that and um, that rotation that you do in there if you save that that will be maintained so file save as and um, cost effective crips plot so that's where it's going to go uh, save yes okay and then we can go to 
the just go out of there and back to here and then we can just go to this one here and let's plot that one so plot okay and well good oh let's do a preview just to see how things are going yeah everything looks pretty good like that there okay elevation a yep I'm all fairly happy with that so that's all all good yep okay so we can just plot that one okay and uh, floor plan let's just make that a bit bigger there draft and that's the elevations one so I'm just going to put in there draft naming plots and things we get such a lot of them and we're just going to go save and it's going through there there it is there control zero once again tools uh, let's just rotate that yep and yeah it all seems to be printing out reasonably well although we have got some what appeared to be slightly some color variation there I don't know why that is it might be just different uh, line styles and things I don't think there's too much in there just various little bits and pieces but that's uh, yeah it all seems pretty good um, so let's just save that file save as save and we'll place the resisting one now with the functionality that we've got here obviously we can put these together in a set by just using here and this is in PDF Adobe Acrobat remember I'm using here so those of you that are working on your um, computers at home may not have this but it is available at the in the CAD room at uh, Wintech um, so this here is sheet two so we want the floor plan which is sheet one so we just put that there and we want it um, before this page okay so there it is there's our floor plan like that sheet one of two and there's our second page there all right so <clears throat> we save that file <coughs> and let's just call this um, cost effects of cribs and we'll just call this um, plan set or sheet set plan set so this is just our set of plans and we'll save that like that so that's two of two if you want to go back to one there it is there and as the finished plan at this point uh, I'll possibly put that up on the Moodle site for make that available as that may obviously help people with dimensioning and things like that and uh, obviously if you find any errors or things please let me know and I can uh, update it as I have done previously so that's um, pretty much printing there um, all I wanted to show there and the next thing we'll do is have a look at the print style table which is another way of drawing um, that is in quite common practice within the industry and is definitely something that you need to be aware of and uh, know how to do so we'll be having a look at that next um, and then also uh, following up with a checking procedure and then our final printout which will be pretty similar to our draft printout but it will be our final printout. Cheers! See you!